peace and safety. Very important point. When they shall say peace and safety. Now listen, they've been saying that for 30 years. Peace and safety. We want peace and safety. We want peace and safety. But it says when they shall say peace and safety. Then sudden, key word there, sudden destruction will come upon them, not us, them, <laughs> as travail upon a woman. It's kind of like when it's, when it's the time to give birth and those pains hit, there ain't no turning back. A birth is about to happen. And they will not escape. Well, they don't escape, but we do. Now, but you, brethren, are not in darkness, at least let's hope we're not, that that day would overtake us as a thief. We are children of the light, children of the day. We're not of the night, nor of darkness. And for this reason, verse 6, for this reason, do not let us sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. <laughs> now, is that talking about being sober in mind and in thought? Or could it also mean to be sober where we're not drinking? We need to remain sober. For they that sleep, they sleep at night. They that get drunk, they get drunk at night. But let us who are of the day be sober. Let us put on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. Because God has not appointed us to wrath, but God has appointed us to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us that whether we are alive or dead, we would live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another even as also you do. Now, I want you to listen to this. Let's go on down here to verse 17. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. You ever wonder what the will of God is for you? Here's part of it. Verse 18. In everything give thanks, because this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Give thanks for everything. Quench not the Holy Spirit. Despise not prophecies. Prove all things. Hold fast to that which is good. <laughs> Abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray, God, that your whole spirit, soul, and body, you see, that is the whole man. Your spirit, you possess a soul, and you live in a body. And he said, I pray that God that your whole spirit, soul, and your body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that called you who will also do it. Now, let's go over here. Um... Well, but let me back up just real quick. You know where it says, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes? Let me tell you what's going to happen. 
they are going to come up with a possibly a Middle East 